Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. In today's material we'll briefly discuss how cats are able to think without a language. Before we attempt to crack the code regarding this very interesting and somewhat complex subject, let's first take a look at today's topic overview. Cats are incapable of introspective or idle thoughts because they lack a default mode network. These are parts of the brain that are activated when not actively thinking. Cats do not think about the future, their feelings, or themselves. They are not capable of learning or thinking in a language as they lack Wernick-like areas. However, they can recall memories and think about those memories to adjust their current behavior. Felines are quite simple. They react based on prior events, both good and bad. And while they don't have vivid memories that we do or like we do, they do have associations. For example, your cat will not remember the day that it almost got hit by a car. They won't remember that it was a sunny day and that the car was red and you were standing on the porch wearing a blue shirt. However, they will remember the unpleasant outcome. They'll file that in the negative associations basket, if you will. They won't remember much of anything else, but now, when they see a car drive by in the future, they'll be less inclined to dart out in the road. Instincts tell them, hey, that's not such a good idea. That, in a nutshell, is how cats recall things. They don't remember the details of the last time you fed them treats, but they do know that the shaking of the container means that treats are coming. Here again, it's all about those associations, positive or negative. Cats dwell on prior experiences to guide them, not only guide them as to what to do in a given moment, but what to expect and what to avoid. Is this good? Is this bad? That pretty much is how cats go through their day. In previous videos and in our written materials, we've noted that cats live in self-preservation mode. For this reason, deep thoughts and a true language are not necessary. They just don't need it. With a survival of the fittest outlook, there's no need for pondering the future or thinking back on a good day some four years ago, it really serves no purpose given the role of a feline. And speaking of purpose, you have indeed given us ours, that is for sure. We found our purpose at Senior Cat Wellness thanks to your demand for information. We greatly appreciate all of your support and we do thank you for your viewership today. As we always say, this video content is nothing without you. It's like a new chandelier in a haunted house. <laughs> However, the viewers, each and every one of you, bring the information to life. And whether this is your very first video with us or you've been here for years, we thank you for your time and support, and we do hope to see you again down the road. Now, let's talk a bit more about how cats are able to think without a language. This topic is a lot like science class. How deep do you really wish to go in terms of the ins and outs of things? I guess we could be here all day if we really wanted to travel down the rabbit hole. However, let's try, and I do mean try, <laughs> we'll do our best. Can't, can't make any promises, but we'll try to make it relatively short and sweet and informative. Deal? Okay. Well, as we touched on in our topic overview, cats are simple, primarily because they don't have our brain structure. They can't weave a web of tangled thoughts the way we can because they simply don't have the ability. Cats do not ponder the future, look at the past with any sort of details, think about themselves or their place in the world. They don't ponder how they really feel about us, and they don't really think about their environment in terms of general thought. While that's not to say they don't react to us, their environment, and anything that is thrust upon them, the key word here is react. Cats really don't think about much of anything. They just sort of sit in neutral and take cues based on their associations. We also noted that cats lack a default mode network. What this really means is that cats lack the tools to fill up that idle space. Humans, whenever we are quote-unquote not doing anything, well, that gives us time to think, even if we don't want to. We'll think about something, that's for sure, possibly even something silly and trivial, but we will indeed think. We really don't have an idle mode where we just shut things down, short of, you know, maybe sleep. Even when you're kicking back and relaxing, you're probably thinking about how nice it finally is to relax. <laughs> you're still in thought to some degree. Cats don't have this default network. While this is not to say that cats are thoughtless, when nothing is really happening, well, not much is really happening in their mind. Here again, cats lack the ability to drift into these familiar human thought patterns 
they can't think about the world around them or themselves introspectively. In respect to the core topic question, how are cats able to think at all? If they don't have a language, well, it's more like a picture book. Let's say you present your cat with the visual of a new toy. Your cat will use its working memory to learn about the new toy. Plenty of touching, sniffing, and general evaluating. Cats often do this as a means to trigger associations. Cats will see a toy and then attempt to link it to a prior association or experience. This will let your cat know if the toy is friend or foe. This could be the reason why some cats pounce on a new toy while others will just run away from other toys. If they're unable to make a positive connection based on a prior association, they'll leave, at least in most cases. It can't be stressed enough that the thought process of a feline is incredibly simple. Unless your cat is paying attention, it isn't really thinking about anything at all. It's only when a cat is presented with information is the feline interrupted from this idle status and the working memory is activated. So, what is the working memory? By definition, it's the cognitive system that holds information for a very short time. This is the decision-making system. The reason a cat will do this rather than that in any given moment. This is not to be confused with short-term memory, however. Think of it as the in-the-moment memory. Working memory takes all the information for only a brief period. This allows a cat to be on top performance for any given cognitive task. In respect to examples of the working memory in action, let's say you're in the process of teaching your cat how to give you a high five with treats being the reward. The working memory will build an association. The cat will associate touching your hand with a snack. It will then know that in order to get the snack, it will have to touch your hand. In this example, the cat isn't really learning how to give you a high five. It's simply learning that the food comes after another action is executed. The working memory says, hey, touch that hand and the food will just appear. The main reason why cats are unable to think in a language is because they lack what is known as the Warnix area. This is a portion of the brain that is responsible for language comprehension. While felines are intelligent, they lack the proper brain comprehension to think in words. Well, that does beg the question, do cats think in meows? I mean, they offer up those to us on a regular basis, right? Unfortunately, meows are just sounds, and felines do not think in meows, and meows are not language. Cats meow simply because they've learned that's the best way to get our attention, and they're right. <laughs> a meow is just a noise, and a Noise that cats know can elicit a response in others, even in other animals. Different meows can mean different things. However, this does not mean that a cat intently thinks of various ways to vocalize in a concentrated manner. Meows associated with what a cat wants is something that we have created, not something that cats have deliberately decided. Here's an example. Do cats use a loud meow because they're in pain or because a loud meow will get your attention? We assign loud meows to mean certain things based on our personal associations and our prior experiences. The meow itself means nothing other than an elevated tone to get your attention. It really all comes down to that word again, the word of the day, association. Over time, cats will understand human interaction, auditory cues, and your body language. Your cat can use its working memory to potentially manipulate you to act based on your response to meows. Think of it as a person tapping on a table. While that's not a language, it could prompt you to respond, especially if the tapping continues to grow even more intense. Think of meows as vocal tapping. When it comes to life without a language, it's important to remember that cats do possess logic and reasoning capabilities. Felines also use their senses to make sense of the world around them. Before we conclude today, I'd like to offer up this in respect to our core topic in question. Do you think in a language? When you are in thought, do you hear a voice in your head speaking your language? Perhaps sometimes, but is it there all the time? When you start typing on your computer keyboard or on your phone, is there a language guiding you? Or do you simply know by association that if you start pressing those keys, uh, letters will appear on your screen? I offer this up somewhat of an obvious point to conclude that just because cats are unable to think with a language doesn't mean they aren't highly intelligent and capable of love, understanding, and fairly high-level cognition. Because after all, so much of the moves that we make and even the things we say 
don't originate from the thoughts of language. We live in reactions and associations too, just like cats do to a large degree. We've certainly all said things that we've regretted, right? I wonder how many of us would have never said whatever we said had we used language as our thinking tool. We could have deleted that thought before it ever slipped out had we mentally heard ourselves saying it first. How about that? And on that note, that will close things out for the video portion of this rather complex and robust subject. However, if you would like more information concerning this topic, we do invite you to visit us at SeniorCatWellness.com at the conclusion of today's presentation. There you will find a full-length and high-quality article dedicated to everything we've talked about today and so much more. In our written piece, you will find a host of ins and outs that were not mentioned in today's video presentation. We hope you find our article to be quite helpful and very interesting. Are you currently watching us offside? If so, we encourage you to click the initial link in the description box below. Said link will take you to all of the information. And until our paths cross again, and I certainly hope they do, we'd like to thank you once again for joining us today. Please have a wonderful day. All the best to you and yours, and we will talk to you later.